I want to appeal to every young man because right now it's a trend that they're saying the girl child is so empowered and is so educated so the boy child is feeling left behind. That is all just but a mindset. And the enemy is a master deceiver. He deceived Adam at the Garden of Eden by making him go take a straw when the serpent was talking to the wife. And from that, the curse entered the earth. I want to appeal to every young man, you don't need to prove anything to any girl when you're going to her, just be you. And I assure you that if you're faithful and you're genuine, God has some people that are left out there that are willing to take genuine people. Because just because girls are misbehaving does not mean that we become drunkards, we become promiscuous, we go looking out for sponsors as well, or maybe we turn into wickedness. It is not necessary. I appeal to you young men, just like uh, uh, Timothy was told, that you learn how to live in chastity and learn to live for the Lord. It is hard, but it is the only sure way that you know that the generation you will raise after you will not have to be cleaning the message that you created. God is calling men to arise, like in the time of Joshua and Caleb, to arise and take their positions because the land ahead of us, there's a lot of harvest, it's a land of milk and honey, but where are the strong and valiant men that are disciplined? They were 12 spies. 10 had, had a wrong mindset. They saw giant, they saw the land was good, they saw the good, but their mindset was like, if we go, we are going to get defeated. Uh, what you have is more than enough to make you win because God did not bring you here by mistake. I appeal to you, stand by the principles of the word of God, work hard and one step at a time. It is only a matter of time and you shall be where God wants you to be. Don't give up, keep pushing.